Okay guys, um, I'm making this video for my family who have recently signed up for an Ibotta account. My mom, my aunt, uh, and my nana, to name a few. And they're having some issues, I guess, understanding exactly how everything works. So this video is for them, and if you don't know about Ibotta, you should. So you can watch this video too, learn how to use it, and um, earn some extra money. Or cash back, however you want to think of it. Um, this is the home page here. These are my recommended retailers um, because I've already used them or chosen them as retailers I would like to see on my home page. Um, all these stores have loyalty cards that you can attach to them and then it goes into recommended at certain stores that I frequent. For this example I think I'm going to use um, Publix, um, and then I'll also show Walmart because Walmart is slightly different. So let's just start here. Here's the Publix page. It has different tabs. If you want to go directly to one of these tabs here because you know you're going to be purchasing or have purchased certain items, you can use the tabs to search. New offers is a good one for me. I like to come through here and see if there's anything that has been added within the last week. Uh, for example, these Nature Valley Sweet and Salty um, granola bars, we like those. So when you see something that you like and you want to buy or that you have bought, you click on this little red cross with the red circle around it and it usually opens up a window. It opens up a window to either have you view a video or recipe or um, anything like that uh, in order to claim the cashback offer. This one is just showing you another offer. I'm going to say no thanks on this one. So now you see the green and white check there. Um, you need to make sure that any items you are going to purchase or have purchased have this green check here in order for you to get your cash back. Let's say I was going to get um, this shredded cheese here. That one didn't open up a window. So that's basically what you're going to go through and do is find the items and click them. Claim the offer as they call it. Any item is another tab that I like to go through because it offers you rebates or cash back on any brand of certain items. It also allows you to submit just the grocery receipt period and get an extra cashback bonus so I always make sure to do that I only get 10 cents right now um, I think when I first started out I was getting more of a bonus you can see that I've chosen um, any chocolate bars any beef that I buy um, there's cat food because I have strays around here uh, laundry detergent pods would be a good one for my mom or my aunt because I think that's what they buy most of so it's just things like that so once you've done you've checked the offers that you're going to shop for or that you have shopped for the next thing you're gonna do is appear at the top of this page if you shopped at Publix you come to this Publix page like we were already on here and then you click on the upload receipt button and for this one Publix and most other stores Walmart is the only one that's a little different that's why I'm going to show you that one too so right here it's telling you to check these things off before you hit continue now I'm going to go try to find some receipts real quick for you guys so I can show you exactly how to go through this so i have a couple of old receipts here that i've already submitted to ibotta so it's not going to let me go through the entire process i'm going to try to find one for you that i haven't done after i show you this to walk you through i should have at least one receipt that i haven't submitted so i'll try to find that you would hit continue and you want to line the top of your receipt up with the top. Basically have the receipt fill the frame as best as possible. If your receipt's unfocused, it tells you there to tap to focus it. And then you click to take the picture. If you have a long receipt, which I do, you would click add section and then move down the receipt. And once you're done, you're gonna hit finish. Now, like I said, I've already submitted this receipt. 
So I'm going to wait and show you the, the rest of the process in just a moment. So I'm going to go back out here and I'm going to choose Walmart and show you why Walmart is slightly different. Usually when you click on an offer at one store, if it's available at another store, it's also clicked there. And I like that just in case like you remember, oh, I had this checked off in my phone, but I didn't buy it at Publix. I bought it at Walmart. That's okay. So when you do the receipt for Walmart, you click here, upload receipt. Here it's going to ask you to scan your QR code. Place the QR code and the camera will automatically do it for you. So there are no offers on this receipt, which there shouldn't be because I've already done this receipt. So let's just go back and pretend like that never happened. Okay, so I'm going to go out, back out and go into Dollar General because I shop there more frequently. And let's see if I can find something to actually redeem. You could also use the, the magnifying glass in the top right to search for particular items or brands. I can't use it right now because the screen recorder I'm using, um, if you push the top right corner, it stops recording. I'm just going to use this receipt as a any item offer. It's checked off here, and I'm going to go to upload receipt. This had to have been taken between 611 and 618. Alright, so continue. Okay, it's focused. I'm going to take the picture. We're going to add. We're going to take the picture a little further down. Okay. And then last picture. Okay. Then we push finished. It asks, are you finished? And it's going to ask you what you bought. And it's going to show you all the offers that you had checked off for this store specifically. And the only thing is my 10 cents cash back on any receipt for this store. So at the bottom, I'm going to push add one purchase. And it's going to show me my matched offers, verify one purchase, and then it should tell me that the money will be deposited into my Abata account within a certain time frame. Yeah, 10 cents will be added to your account within 24 hours, and then you can redeem another receipt for the store, or you can push done. Here is my referral code. If any of you want to use that when you're signing up, I do get a $3 bonus for everyone who re, um, signs up with my link and completes one uh, redemption offer within the first so many days or something like that. I really, really do like this app. I like to use it in combination with coupons. Um, so like if something's $4 and I bought is giving a dollar cash back and I have a dollar coupon from the newspaper or something, then I'm only paying $2 for that item. Anyway, this has gone on longer than I expected it to. I just wanted to do this, like I said, for my family to help them learn how to use it. And if any of you aren't using it to encourage you to go ahead and sign up, whether you use my sign up code or not. But we will be teammates if you do, and we can encourage each other, uh, remind each other to use the app all within the app. Um, I didn't show you any of that, but it's all there within the app. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and mom, auntie, nana, hope this helped you, and um, I'll see you guys next time.